And this morning could call it a compliance crackdown. Miami Dade is stepping up its efforts to make sure you and businesses are following the county's emergency order. This morning, all non essential businesses in South Florida are supposed to be closed. Most are following that order, but police officers say they're busy enforcing the rules against businesses who are not. CBS 4's Jessica Vallejo joins us live from Doral with the details. Jessica, good morning. And good morning. Well, we're here at Sergio's where many people come to get their cafecitos in the morning, especially at this time. And what I want you to look at is that they have Germix here. And all morning, these workers have been cleaning, making sure everything is sanitized and clean. And take a look at this. They also have hand sanitizer right here. But what I really want you to see is the floor. They have tape in English and in Spanish. And it says six feet minimum. Sergio's making sure people are social distancing and they're not the only businesses that are following these new rules. It was the first full day of Mayor Carlos Jimenez's executive order to limit public gatherings to a maximum of 10 people. In many places, we saw people are cooperating. This paint with a twist in Miami Lakes had several people inside who appeared to be close together. Many chain restaurants like this Chipotle taking orders outside of the building. Establishments are using tape and signs as markers to keep customers six feet away. Keep your distance. Six feet between all people is not a suggestion. It is now the rule of law. Earlier in the day, officers paid visits to popular coffee hangouts and restaurants, making sure lines weren't stacking up and any orders placed were for carry out or delivery only. It's good to show the table that the chairs picked up. And it goes to show that they're actually, that they're actually complying. They were also checking for proper cleaning and sanitation supplies. At retail stores, workers are cleaning off shopping carts and taking purchases right to their cars. All right, you're welcome to sit in your car. I'm just going to put it in and you're off to off go. Even at construction sites, we're seeing social distancing. Everybody stay six feet apart. And we got less than 10 guys on the job site. Trust me, I get it, I'm dead. So that ain't happening. All of this in the hopes of curbing the spread of COVID-19. All officers are asking for is... We do need the community to do their part. We need the community to abide to the rules. The failure to comply to an executive order is a crime. It's a misdemeanor and it could lead to an arrest. I can stay on you though. That's okay. Fine. That can make it work. I can make it work. And people have been standing six feet away from the windows here at Sergio. But if you do fail to comply to these, you will get arrested as it is a misdemeanor. We're live in Doral, Jessica Vallejo, CBS4, this morning.